Who are the Freedom for Russia Battalion? The Freedom for Russia Battalion, called Svoboda Rasi in Russian, is a unit of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. However, it's a little bit different to most units because it's made up of Russian nationals. It was formed in 2022, following the Russian Federation's invasion of Ukraine. And it has three main sources of recruits. The first is from volunteers. Within Russia itself, despite the fact that President Putin has very high popularity, there is an opposition to his regime. And in the past, they have tried several methods of bringing him down. This goes through peaceful protests, as seen with Alexei Navalny and other opposition figures, but also in the wake of the war, anti-war protests. Some protesters who feel that their voices won't be listened to have decided to join this new legion. At the same time, many in Russia have relatives in Ukraine and so may feel a closer tie to them and to their nation rather than to the Russian nation. Second is from deserters, very simply members of the Russian army who have deserted from their ranks and gone over to join the Ukrainian army instead. They needed a fighting outfit and that's the Freedom for Russia Legion. The third source is from prisoners of war, Russian soldiers who have been captured or surrendered to Ukrainian forces and who instead of remaining POWs have decided instead to fight for the Ukrainians. But why would Russians in essence betray their country and fight for Ukraine instead against their former comrades in arms a lot of the time? Well there are two broad sets of reasons. The first are practical. One is that Ukrainian servicemen actually get a lot more pay than the average Russian soldier, particularly conscripts. A second is that by joining the Ukrainian forces with their better supply lines and equipment, they actually get the chance to have a warm shower, to get a warm cooked meal, seeing as many of the Russian conscripts were outfitted with out-of-date ration packs. Another factor is that they might get a good night's sleep, seeing as Ukrainian forces are pulled back for rest and recuperation, far more frequently than Russian forces. And finally also that Ukrainian equipment and arms at the individual level are often better than those supplied to the Russian side. There are also then moral reasons. This might come down to the fact that several Russian units have been committing war crimes against Ukrainian civilians, most famously in Bucha, where several hundred to several thousand Ukrainian civilians were executed. At the same time, many of the Russian forces were not properly informed of the purpose of their training exercises before the outbreak of war, which has led to a lack of trust in higher-ups in the Russian army, in what is already a very top-down army. And finally, the tactical maneuvering and ineptitude of the Russian forces might have led quite a few Russian soldiers to start to doubt the ability of their commanders and therefore want to switch sides. They've also released a manifesto in which we can find more of their reasons for fighting against the regime of Vladimir Putin. Several of these include the persecution of people in Russia, as well as the fact that both Russians and Ukrainians and Ukrainian children are being killed, with the desire to create a new Russia which is more democratic and has more toleration for such things as freedom of speech, human rights, and indeed the desire to get rid of Vladimir Putin as a dictator in the country. They call up on other Russian soldiers from various ethnicities and region in Russia to join their Free Russia Legion to fight against the Russians and join the Ukrainian side. Their flag is the Russian anti-war flag, something I might make a video on in the future, which of course differs from the standard flag of the Russian Federation by removing the red stripe, which they say counts for tyranny and the bloodshed unleashed on neighboring nations. They use this as well as the badge, which reads Svoboda Rasi, which is freedom and Russia with a punching fist. It's not clear quite how many Russians have thus far joined this regiment. And we also don't don't know how many more will be joining in the future and what kind of responsibilities they will be given, as of course for the Ukrainians there is some risk that this might be infiltrated by spies or might be made up of Russian prisoners and deserters who don't really have the stomach to fight but saw this as an easy way out. In any case, only the future will tell whether this will be the start of a grand Russian revolution which could sweep all the way to Moscow or whether this will be just another of several foreign legion units fighting for the Ukrainian forces.